This is the third recent high-profile case involving Loveland Police. And now the department is facing a new lawsuit after officers shot and killed a family's pet. Our Michael Abate alive tonight in Loveland. And Michael, the dog's owners are shocked that the cop pulled the trigger. Yeah, Jim, it was June of 2019 when the couple pulled into a parking lot they assumed belonged to an abandoned building. Well, the owner of that building was watching on a, at a remote location on a security camera, and he called police. And I need to warn you, even though we did edit out the most graphic parts of this video, it is still tough to watch. At the beginning of this body-worn camera video, Officer Matthew Grasshorn steps out of his patrol car and begins walking towards a truck parked in an empty parking lot. Dogs run toward the officer. The officer draws his weapon and shoots one of them twice. He just made my baby! Why did you have to shoot him? He's fine. He's a puppy! Get to your truck! I didn't know that! Officer Grasshorn explains why he felt he had to shoot the dog. So if a suspect comes out with a knife, I need to try to tase him before did I shoot him? Did he have a knife? It's the same thing. Loveland Police Chief Bob Tyser and two other senior officers reviewed the video and found no policy violations and deemed Grasshorn's actions reasonable. Sarah Schelke, lawyer for Love and Ham, says that isn't true. It was in violation of Colorado's Dog Protection Act. Um, it violated all common sense and it violated all common decency. They're now suing the department because they don't want this to happen to another family. And Schalke says she thinks after this and the Karen Garner incident, there may be a culture problem within the department. What in, in the world is going on in Loveland that these things keep coming out and there's no changes in leadership. Now, in the end, both Love, Love and Ham were issued a warning for trespassing. Her, Herkimer, the dog, was taken to a vet, the vet and was euthanized because of the severity of his injuries. We did reach out to the city of Loveland, and we are waiting for a response from them. In Loveland, Michael Avetha, covering Colorado First.